Yo! What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, I know it's quite soon, but uh, I'm just doing another casual chat video to kind of update everybody on what my plans are for the next few months when it comes to gaming, hobbies, and really just other things. Uh, just kind of an outlook on the next few months and a status update on real life. Um, that and also I'm making this video because I actually have uh, a sponsor and today's sponsor for the video uh, is GameStop who I'm working with to promote the Xbox Series X and Diablo 4. Check it out. What's up everybody? Working together with my latest sponsor GameStop who I worked with previously in the past to talk about the Xbox Series X Diablo 4 bundle. I played it a bunch during its launch with my housemate Stoops with whoever dying the most having to do the one chip challenge and stream a scary game and we both lost so we both have to do both so that'll be for some great content in the future. The actual console itself 12 teraflops processing power 1 terabyte SSD Xbox Velocity Architecture. So if you're interested, it comes also with a bunch of cosmetics for other Blizzard games like Diablo 3, World of Warcraft. So check it out in the product link somewhere around here. Alrighty. So yeah, I mean, that's one of the games that I'm planning on playing actually. So I'll get back to it in just a moment. So uh, just a few things we'll talk about. The games that I'm playing, either uh, MMO wise, the games that I'm planning on playing, like future upcoming releases, and then other miscellaneous hobbies and real life related stuff. So obviously the main thing is Lost Ark. Um, I'm still Lost Ark main, hasn't changed even with all the fire and brimstone. I'm still mainly playing Lost Ark. However, there's a bit of a difference. Um, over time, especially in the last couple of months, I've heavily downsized my roster. I was playing, I don't know, I was playing like nine or 10 characters at a pretty high level. And I brought that down to seven. And I know that I didn't really bring it down much, but I brought it down to seven. And now I only do rested dailies. Uh, and on top of that, all the characters that I dropped uh they i don't even log into them anymore so a lot of people ask me not even low pay not even chaos dungeon and uh, the answer to that is uh, nothing because the entire point of dropping them is to give me back time that i can put into other games or other hobbies or just general real life well-being uh so those characters just perpetually sit full rested um i take off their gems i leave their outfits and their equipment on them because I like to keep the character just in case I plan on playing it again in the future. They're already level 60. They already have level tripods and several engravings learned. So I, I figure, you know, I'll just keep them there. And then maybe one day they do like a big revamp to any of these classes and they become interesting to play again. So the question is, what characters did you drop? Which characters are you bringing on? That kind of stuff. Well, originally I dropped my summoner and I dropped my machinist because they were my lowest honed characters. When everyone else was 1620, they were 1600. And so since they were at the bottom, uh, I dropped them. However, that being said, uh, I am going to be bringing back the machinist uh, since they did a pretty nice quality of life update to AT. Um, so in order to facilitate that, which character am I dropping? Well. I am dropping my Arcana and I am dropping my Slayer. Uh, Arcana, I just never really put the time into it to properly learn it. So I was never really that good at it to begin with. Um, and then in the case of Slayer, I already have my Mayhem Zerker, who is a lot stronger than my uh, Slayer. So they're kind of similar-ish. So it's like, I might as well drop that one. So I'm dropping those two and then I'm adding AT machinist and obviously soul leader. And that's just the thing is whenever they add, whenever they release a new class, I'm going to play it in Lost Ark. I'm going to raise it to a high level. I'm going to play it. But in order for me to do that, I always have to drop an existing class. So what this basically means is whenever mail scrapper comes out later this year, I will eventually drop another character and I'll figure that out once I cross that bridge. But the reason why I'm doing this is because if I'm going to be playing every character that comes out, I can't just keep perpetually expanding my roster 
uh it would just keep piling on dailies and then i'll be back at the point where i was before where i was starting to feel kind of burnt out so um you know one in one out every single time and by only doing rested dailies as well it means that i put in some effort with dailies and then i can not do dailies for two days after that and then you know rinse and repeat uh, and this is actually quite nice because a it gives me back so much time uh, rested dailies is 33% of the work for 66% of the rewards and since I'm already ahead and obviously supplementing my adventure with real money it's enough uh, and on top of that dailies just feel a lot better when they're rested and in fact I would say that rested loot feels like what loot should be in Lost Ark but at the same time I would also say that if it was like this I would want more <laughs> so the the new rusted would feel like what I would want it to be and it would just keep going up and up and up um I tried to do things that make my dailies just more enjoyable to begin with and the biggest thing for me was I made chaos dungeon specific builds and uh it's a bit of a costly venture but I would say that it's worth it just for personal enjoyment so I made it so that all of my characters have a swiftness build that I use with the Dominion set and it just makes doing Chaos Dungeon so fun on classes that would otherwise be a little bit mundane or tedious such as Striker. I, I love doing Chaos Dungeon on Striker now. So everything just goes towards making sure that I actually am enjoying what I'm doing in Lost Ark that way I don't get burnt out and I can keep playing it for the foreseeable future. But outside of that, I am trying out other MMOs. Recently, I had a sponsor to check out Black Desert Online. Uh, many of my contemporaries are trying out Black Desert Online. Many Korean streamers are trying out Black Desert Online. It's like the new wave. And I tried it out for a stream. Granted, I didn't really play it for very long, but I got to sit in an interview uh, with a really great um, content creator. Uh, I'm gonna link his info actually in the description because he was just such a, a useful resource for me to actually learn more about Black Desert Online and clear up a bunch of misconceptions. And what I learned from asking him these questions was, I can play BDO and actually just take it casually and take it slow with very, very little stress. What I learned by checking out different MMOs is that many of them are many of them are actually grindier than Lost Ark, but the difference is most of these other MMOs aren't gated by a daily counter. And so the difference is with these games where you can grind is you have no pressure to go out there and, and grind. You, you just do it when you feel like it. Whereas Lost Ark, you feel the pressure to do these dailies. And, and that is what makes it feel so tedious more than anything else. It's not you're doing it because you want to. It's because you're doing it because you feel like you have to. And that's like the big, great divide between uh, Lost Ark and other games when it comes to grind, uh, at least in, in my opinion. Um, so BDO, I started uh, actually started on the seasonal server uh, because there's this one class that I really, really, really thought was just the coolest concept and it's called sage uh who's like dr strange uses portals and everything like that uh, and i learned that he has two branches one is like zeus and the other one's like dr strange i'm probably gonna play the dr strange one she's just way cooler um yeah i'm gonna take my time with it there's a lot of things in the game that i want to check out like the housing one of my viewers showed me this insane uh, video of how in-depth the housing and video can get and i was like i want to do that so I think it to be good. Um, BDO doesn't have a thorough PvE endgame, but I'm a big fan of like just shutting off your brain, going around, pulling mobs and grinding nonstop while having something up on a second monitor. So I'd like to do that. And obviously the solo bosses in their latest updates really cool too. Uh, Diablo 4, that was the sponsor I showed you guys earlier, Diablo 4. Uh, has been putting out quite a few good updates. Um, yes, they're embroiled in their own controversies here and there, but I'm keen to play season one. I mean, I grew up on Diablo 2. I played Diablo 4's launch. 
Uh, I did have fun. Now I stopped before the point where I thought it would get really tedious. And a lot of the tedium they actually addressed recently in things like upping the nightmare dungeon exp and making it so that you teleport right to the entrance right away. So it's just less bothersome in order to actually play the game. Uh, so I want to check that out during season one for sure. I think it'll be good for some days uh, of gameplay. So I'm going to check that out. Dungeon Fighter Online, I was actually, I reinstalled Dungeon Fighter Online and I was playing it. I got up to 37k fame. Um, and then the whole BDO thing happened and now I haven't been logging into Dungeon Fighter Online. So it's a bit weird, but I got my character there. I started up a Ghost Blade and I've been just slowly grinding up fame uh, with the item growth system. Um, Dofus, I haven't logged in since Hellbrell. Dofus is a French tactical turn-based MMO. Uh, I was I stopped at like level 130 on my Anaripsa and they're actually doing a class overhaul for that class that I was playing. So I'm planning on checking that out again when that update goes live uh, later this month. So I think that could be fun to just check out. Always good nostalgia, fun game, really the only of its kind. If you discount its uh, successor Wakfu by the same company, that's less popular. Uh, Tree of Savior. Uh, a few people told me that Tree of Savior, they opened up a brand new server that's been met with decent reception. I just wanted to check up on that game. I don't think I'll really earnestly go back to it, but Tree of Savior, despite its nickname in Korea, Tree of Poop, uh, it had a couple of really cool points. One, it has so many interesting classes. So people who like lots of different classes, I think they can find some interest in Tree of Savior. Two, the art is amazing. And three, the music is amazing. Um, I can't speak for the system since I haven't kept up to date with it in such a long time, but it's just something that I think would be nice just to revisit and take a look at. Uh, so that's it for like the MMO stuff. Um, I do plan on checking out uh, a couple of other things in the future as uh, as well. I got um, Wayfinder next month and I do want to check out Path of Exile 2 as well whenever that comes out. So there's a there's a couple things here and there uh, that I'm keeping my eye on and you know I'm it's too hard to play multiple MMOs in earnest and seriously, but I think just trying them out, it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt and it helps kind of round out your opinions on the games that are out there a little bit more i mean mmos are so few and far between so why not um outside of that in gaming there's my two career series which is my variety gaming stuff before i was only doing that on um tuesday while i was in korea now monday and then i started doing it on friday and now i'm just Kind of sprinkling it in whenever because i got so much time back since i cut down on lost ark dailies so for example just last night i started resident evil 7 because i want to play resident evil village and which i was saying that i should play 7 beforehand and I, I mean that game's a blast um other single player games that i'm looking forward to armored core 6 uh big fan of the armored core series i grew well not grew up but um, during my high school years, when I got an Xbox 360, one of the very first games that I got was Armored Core 4, and I, I, I actually distinctly remember I would go onto YouTube and I would search for Armored Core 4, like tips and tutorials, and I would watch this one content creator named Nismo Joe, who uh, also did some of the earliest Gears of War montages. And it was just some of my favorite content to consume, honestly. Armored Core, just such a sick game. It, it, it's a game about mechs. You're in these giant mechs. There's this crazy story going on. And it's super fast-paced combat. And um, it's by From Software, the maker of the Souls games, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, that kind of stuff. Um, but it's one of their projects that precedes the Souls games. So it's, it should be just a ton of fun. Um, and speaking of that, Lies of P, I'm actually working on a review video from the demo. Lies of P, super interesting game. Uh, funny enough, it's from the makers of Bless Online. However, it's a single player game. I played the demo. The demo was like three or four hours, which was insane. It, it had more depth to the demo than uh, practically the Final Fantasy 16 demo, which is crazy. Those two demos were some of the craziest demos I've ever played. 
Uh, and it's just so interesting because, you know, Bless Online is seen as a colossal failure of an MMO. People consider it a, the laughing stock of modern MMOs, and yet the same studio that made that has made a stunning single-player Souls-like with incredible optimization and just very true to source material uh, Souls copied gameplay. I mean, they don't even try to hide it. Basically, of all the games that are trying to be like Dark Souls, this one shows the most polish and it has an amazing setting and it's on PC and a lot of people would consider it similar to Bloodborne, even though they're adamant that it's uh, French themed inspired. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it, for anyone who doesn't care about the details, it's like <laughs> you're, you're basically looking at Bloodborne on PC. So um, it looks like it's really good. And I saw their dev interview recently and the guy was wearing a mask, kind of like a Yoko Taro kind of thing from Nier Automata. And he's talking about all these uh, things that they're working on dev comments the player feedback and it was just really good and i was like i was looking at that and i was like damn <laughs> maybe mmo companies more of them should just make single player games because they seem way better at that i mean next time i got had dave the diver which i was playing recently um and now this with the uh, lies of p is just really good uh outside of that big games that are coming up in september uh cyberpunk dlc i've been wanting to play that for a really long time but my chat says wait for the dlc because it revamps the entire base game so i'm waiting for that i think it's been left in the oven long enough to cook and it's probably in a more than playable state these days so i'm really looking forward to that uh and then starfield and i know it's like tech w bethesda but i'm not gonna lie every bethesda game i've ever played i really liked and i really had fun with it yes it was a buggy mess but sometimes the bugs even contributed to the fun because of how outlandish they are uh, starfield i'm looking forward to that uh i'm gonna do a speech playthrough by the way i'm gonna try and talk my way out of er everything with charisma uh so that's like single player stuff multiplayer stuff so i've been trying to do more multiplayer tukers which is like get some friends together and just play some stuff that's co-op uh, we played Outlast Trials recently. I put a video about that not that long ago. We just played Deep Rock Galactic like two days ago. That was a lot of fun as well. Um, I've been trying to get more people to play in general. So Lust Boy joins often. Tofu joins pretty often. We have Benji and Uni and Foss for Outlast Trials. ATK says he wants to play that kind of stuff. And speaking of ATK, he said he want, he'd be down to start up servers for other multiplayer games as well. He was keen on a satisfactory multiplayer server. I'd be down for a Minecraft multiplayer server because that's what Tofu wants. He makes he wants to make a shrine to Mugulak. Uh, but outside of that, uh, upcoming multiplayer games that I'm very much so interested in. Remnant 2, played the first Remnant, was super fun. I just got to figure out which two friends I want to bring along for Remnant 2. And then Payday 3 and Baldur's Gate 3, two threes. Uh, Payday 3, I mean, I had an itch to play Payday, but I didn't really want to buy all the DLC and Payday 3 is coming out really soon. And even though it looks like Payday 2, might as well wait. And then Baldur's Gate 3, that's another game that I wanted to play in chat was like, wait for full release. And Baldur's Gate 3 looks like it's going to be absolutely insane. Like lately, I've been on YouTube looking at all this D&D related stuff because I really want to get, I really want to get into D&D. But I don't know other people who would want to get into D&D and I don't know a DM, even though I know you can hire a DM and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, it's just it's just uh, I think it would be a lot of fun, even, even if it's a really long playthrough thing. But I want to get some friends together for that as well. Um, I really wanted to play GTFO, but Lost Boy refuses because he thinks it's a horror game. It's not a horror game, kind of like how Outlast is not a horror game. Um, and then lastly, for multiplayer tukers, I was supposed to start Elden Ring with Stoops this month, but now I'm starting to think that it's not going to happen because Stoops has fell down the witching well that is BDO. He's crazy addicted to that game right now. So it's like, um, I don't think he's going to want to take time out to play Elden Ring, but we'll see. Uh, this month is relatively light for new games and releases and sponsors and stuff. So trying to get him to do that. Uh, speaking of which, he's supposed to stream a horror game. Um, originally, I suggested Amnesia, but then I wanted him to do Mortuary Assistant, but he's very squeamish. 
uh, about like gore and stuff like that and in that game you're kind of messing around with corpses and whatnot so I, I can understand so i'm gonna try and get him to play until dawn instead not until dawn Real, really any of those games uh from that studio because those games are really linear and you can't really get stuck in them like you can in amnesia amnesia it's really easy to get stuck and have no idea what you're doing and wander around it's not the best viewing experience but those like story movie games are so fun to watch and i think his viewers will really enjoy uh that just like my viewers really enjoyed when i played games like until dawn and quarry and a house of ashes and all those games just insanely fun playthroughs to both do and watch uh and just the right amount of horror as well and yeah i'm still supposed to do a spicy challenge as well from the d4 bet but um we ordered these things apparently these are the one of the spiciest things in the entire world uh and i ordered one because the my penalty was supposed, was supposed to be i was supposed to eat it and then my entire chat said don't do it and then stoop said don't do it why uh i have i have gerd which is a issue with stomach acid and one of the biggest no-nos of GERD is you're not supposed to eat spicy because that can flare it really badly and cause damage. So now everyone's worried and they said, don't do it. So now I, got, I need a replacement spicy thing that's less spicy than the spiciest thing in the world that sometimes sends people to the hospital, apparently. Um, but yeah, that's it for the multiplayer stuff. Uh, other things. Uh, I put my first order down for Gunpla. Um, it's a hobby that I've been wanting to get into. I haven't really been using my workbench much as of late. The last thing that I built was the Lego. This was the last thing that I built, which was this uh, pretty elaborate tree house that took like, I don't know, it took like 10 hours, I think. Actually, maybe even longer. It was a lot of pieces, but uh, it was a really fun build. Uh, but I wanted to get into Gunpla, so my friend uh, Splitfire, he um, told me what I should get to make it a little bit easier with gate remover, uh, organizer, nipper, that kind of stuff. And then uh, Jin Crimson, one of the members of our community, hooked me up with a list of recommended models to start with. So I went with a pretty recent Barbados model um, that's currently on the way, and I think that'll be really fun. And that's going to be like the Saturday night late night streams, because as you guys know, on Saturday, my off day, uh, I usually will do a really late night stream where I start my broadcast super late night and I just do stuff that's not MMO related. And it's just like supposed to be my relaxation day where I'm just doing whatever. So the idea was I'm going to be converting Saturday to uh, Weeb Zen day. So uh, what, I, what I mean by that is I'll be building stuff or just casually relaxing and whatnot. And we're going to be booting up uh, an anime club, um, kind of like a seasonal watch club kind of thing where uh, we watch seasonal anime throughout the week. We don't watch it together. Everyone just watches it on their own time. And on Saturday night, we just talk about the episodes for that week. Yeah, it's going to be really spoiler ridden, but you know, I've always wanted people that I can just like sit there and talk about anime with on the week of that I watch it. Normally, you can't really talk about anime because the concern is it would uh, be spoilers for a lot of folks, but if everyone's on board and everyone knows that Saturday is like the watch club thing, um, I think it'll be okay. Cause like either you don't want to be spoiled and you don't tune in and it's kind of like whatever. It's my off day anyways, it's a short stream. Or you do want to talk about anime and now you have some late night chill entertainment with some nice music while I'm building something at the workbench. And um, I do want to build other stuff too. I really want to build a custom keyboard for myself i was really scared about doing it before because the idea of having to solder anything was kind of off-putting to me but i hear nowadays everything's hot swappable and i would really like to ha ha make one keyboard for myself i i, I really would uh I, I remember i there's this one youtuber that i watch named wildcat uh and they did a review of these keycaps called palm jelly keycaps and i i saw those and i, I was instantly sold i was like i want these i want a keyboard with these as well <laughs> so 
So at some point, I'd like to make a custom keyboard for myself, just one. Uh, and I'm sure there's probably a few people rolling their eyes like, sure, just one. But I mean, it. just one would be enough. I don't want to get I don't want to delve down the rabbit hole of uh, um, getting like a display case <laughs> for all the different keyboards. Uh, oh, also one last thing, L ow. live events. Um, me and the boys, we probably want to attend live events. Uh, I'd really like to go to PAX West. Never been to PAX West. I've been to PAX East. That was at PAX South back in 2016. Never been to PAX West, but I heard it's the biggest one. So I'd love to go to that one and meet up with a couple of friends. Look at me actually going out 10 years of a recluse. And now I actually want to go out. It's insane. Uh, and then I guess more importantly, um, later this year, we're already planning on going to uh, TwitchCon. I haven't been to TwitchCon in, I want to say seven years. I went to the very first one and that was it. Um, so I'm looking forward to going there and maybe getting to meet more colleagues at stream and maybe get to meet some of you guys as well. I mean, I actually have been able to meet some of you guys uh, around the California area, which was crazy. I, met, I, I just randomly run into some of you guys sometimes and it's just so cool. So if you do see me, feel free to stop and say hello. I, I mean, a, a surprising number of people have done that already when I go out to places like Spectrum Center or Frank and Sons and that kind of stuff. It's, it's cool. I, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, if anything, it's incredibly endearing and incredibly flattering. So if you see me, don't be afraid to say hello. I'd gladly take a moment to talk and I'd love to hear your story as well. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, that's pretty much my plans for the next uh, few months. Um, obviously, I'm going to try and continue to get in better and better shape. Um, weight wise, I've gone down from 176 pounds to uh, just under 160 pounds, which means I'm pretty much at my target weight, uh, but I want to lose a bit more weight because I want to put on more muscle and muscle weighs more than uh, fat. So uh, per density, so I, I definitely if I'm going to be putting on muscle and I want to hover around 160 to 165, uh, I think I should probably lose a tiny bit more, which means I had to go outside more. So I'm ending this short chat here as is, uh, and I'm going to go for a walk outside. I'd probably grab Stoops, but he was up till 2 a.m. playing BDO. So I doubt I can get him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you guys uh, on the next stream. We're probably going to finish Resident Evil or at least try to finish Resident Evil after Lost Dark stuff. OK, oh. And before I end, uh, for the amazing community in BDO that I met, um, BDO to me is an off stream game that I can enjoy on my own time without the pressure of streaming. Because whenever I'm streaming, I do kind of feel like I have to be at least remotely entertaining. So I have to talk. BDO is a game that I want to sit there in silence and just play and enjoy while being sludge in my chair. Uh, I really, really, really like the game, um, but I'm going to be taking it very casually. So you shouldn't expect me to stream it very often, maybe once in a blue moon. Uh, but if I'm not streaming Lost Ark, usually I'm going to be playing single player games or co-op tukers games with my friends. I just don't want to set anyone up for any false expectations since I had such a warm welcome when I did play BDO. Um, but yeah, uh, and then in Lost Ark, obviously, we've got Soul Eater coming up in a week and a half. Um, I'm planning on raising her to a really high level, so obviously if you want to check that out, uh, feel free to. Oh, and in the West, they're updating Hell Cool next week. Uh, I will be on the Western servers during that time. I have an NA West character set up already. I'm hoping the balance patch goes through because it's pistol here. And I'm going to be making an NA East character as well, setting them both 1475 and doing viewer parties of gate one of Hell Cool over and over to kind of get people who either want to learn the first gate, maybe they're experienced Hell Raiders and they want to get their foot in the door for Hell Cool before going with their usual parties or people who have never done Hell Mode before. I want to give them an opportunity to just try it out and kind of get to experience it because uh, getting into Vault and Vicus Hell Parties rather difficult um, these days. So. I definitely recommend Hell Cool, and I'll be doing viewer parties for that. We'll just be doing Gate 1 uh, mostly over and over. Maybe we'll do a couple parties that go beyond Gate 1. But I think the idea is I just want people to get to enjoy Hell Cool because it's my favorite one. 
Um, so I will be on NAA West and East doing that. Uh, I don't currently have plans on making a character on EU Central for it. Um, that could change in the future, but for now, let me focus on these two. And it's all about bandwidth, okay? I, I, I only want to do what I'm capable of, and I don't want to overpromise. All right? Now that's everything, okay? So once again, thanks to today's sponsor, GameStop, and I'll see you guys on the next stream. All right?